Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to learn how we can do an emergency withdrawal and get our funds from PancakeSwap farms, okay? So let's say you have some tokens taken in PancakeSwap farms or something happened to the website, something happened to the farms, there is a bug and you want your liquidity pool tokens as soon as possible and you cannot get them, so we'll see how we can do it using directly interacting with the smart contract using BSC scan website. If you remember, I posted my last video was about how to do emergency withdrawal from zero pool. So this time we're gonna focus on farms. It's very, very similar because it's the same smart contract. So uh, we will just start in a moment, but before we start, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell notification button so you can see my videos any time when they go out and learn more and get education about DeFi. So let's say you have some liquidity pool tokens staked on farms. So right now we are on the PunkSwap farms. If you are not familiar what are farms, what is PunkXSwap, what is zero pools, all these kind of things. I have a lot of educational videos in my channel. So make sure you check my channel, my videos, my previous videos and learn more about PunkXSwap so you can have freedom and decentralized finance education. And now we are inside farm and as you can see here, I have some 0.213 liquidity pool tokens stacked inside a cake BNB farm. So it's around $30, one cake and fractions of BNB. And let's say I cannot withdraw it, I have problem and I want to get my tokens as soon as possible. Make sure that also when you do emergency withdrawal, you will get only your stake tokens, but you won't get your rewards. So if you have any cake rewards here, they will be gone. You will not get them to your wallet, you will just get the tokens. This is super important. So the first thing you need to do in order to get your funds and do emergency withdrawal is understand what is the pool ID or farm ID. Basically, if you remember in the previous video, I explained that every pool and every farm that uh, is being added to PancakeSwap actually has an integer and index between zero to something more. So it starts from zero, one, two, three, four. So we'll have to understand what is the pool ID, the farm ID for cake BNB farm. In order to do so, you can go to your wallet in BSC Scan. This is BSC Scan. If you are not familiar with it, I will have another tutorial explaining what it is and how to read it and how to use it. And this is my wallet. So if I go to my wallet, I can see, scroll down a bit, you can see all the transactions. Try to look for the transaction that interacts with the PancakeSwap main staking contract. This is the transaction that basically when you clicked stake tokens, you interacted with the main staking contract of PancakeSwap. So this is this transaction two minutes ago that I just did for this example in order to stake the tokens. So I'm gonna click here on this transaction, open it in new tab, and then I can see that it's my wallet sent to PancakeSwap main staking contract. I will scroll down a bit and click here to see more. Scroll down again and I can see that I call a function named deposit and I send two parameters. One is the pool ID and second is the amount. I will click here to decode input data and I can see that the pool ID is 251. I can see that I actually added um, 0.213 so it's matching the amount that I have just here. And this is the right amount that I just staked in the pool. So the pool ID is 251. This is your pool ID. Now we need to interact with this specifically smart contract. So we're gonna click on this smart contract, the main staking contract, and I'm gonna open it in a new tab. Now when we know the pool ID. Uh, so this is the contract. We're gonna click here under contract. And we're gonna change to write contract. Basically, uh, we have three different views. One is the code, you can read the code. One is read contract. Basically, you can call functions to read data from the blockchain. It will not change the state of the blockchain. And write contracts, these are functions that you send. You basically send transactions to the smart contract and you basically change um, the blockchain state. So you pay fees in BNB, of course. And that's what we need because we want to do emergency withdrawal. The first thing we'll have to do after clicking in write contracts is connect to BSC scan. Connect our MetaMask wallet to BSC scan. So I'm gonna click here and MetaMask. 
and click OK. And now my wallet is connected. I can use my MetaMask wallet in order to send directly functions, directly transactions to the functions of this smart contract. I'm going to scroll down a bit until I see emergency withdrawal. And again, when you call this function, you will not get your rewards. You just get your stake tokens. And the pool ID, do you remember what was the pool ID? You are absolutely right. It's 251. I'm going to click right and send the transaction with my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to put a slightly higher fees because the Binance Smart Chain now has some kind of overload. And there was an issue. Why there is an issue? Let's try again. All right, guys. Now the transaction went through. We sent it and basically you can actually click here, view your transaction, see what's going on with your transaction, if it's already being mined or not. So right now we see it's pending, it's probably in the mempool and probably the miners, we're gonna collect it soon and include it in the block. And once the transaction will be done, you'll see that your LP tokens actually came back to your wallet from the smart contract. Of course, you won't get your rewards, but you will see here that in the farms, Basically, you don't have anything staked anymore. So we will wait a while until the transaction will go through. All right, guys, so the transaction is done. It's completed and you can see that actually I got back my liquidity pool tokens 213, uh, 0.213, I got it back. And if you go here and refresh this kind of page, the farms page, you should see that actually your tokens are not in the farms anymore. So right now, when you have your liquidity pool tokens, you can disassemble them and get your original currencies. In my case, it's Cake and BNB. Uh, so it's for another time, but that's how you basically do emergency withdrawal from farms. So I hope you enjoyed and learned from this tutorial. If you liked it, please consider liking, click the like button and share it with your friends so they can learn more about it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.